Okay, Glenn, here's a great question for you. How does the body prioritize its healing activities? My conclusion from 40 years of work with biocommunication, where we, we look at how the body responds to signals, to stimuli, and we believe what we're doing is tapping into the body's internal communication system. My conclusion is the body communicates actually the spirit, the consciousness, the, 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 the sentient being within the body is communicating about how to deal with its challenges, the challenges of the, the mind and spirit and the challenges of the material body that we're living in. So, so the spirit has access to virtually infinite information. So, uh, it has to prioritize a few things at a time to focus, to guide the body's healing abilities, to focus on those things that will make a difference. It could be uh, something acute, something, you know, you, you, you injure yourself, your body's going to send healing energy there. You're going you're gonna to be aware of the uh, symptom of pain, pain uh, from the trauma. Uh, and so that's going to, it's kind of like the, when the phone rings, it's the top becomes the top of your to do list. So, so things that happen in real time through the day can come to the top of the to do list, because they're right there right now in real time. When we can clear the plate of those urgent things, we can get to the things that are underlying the deeper, older issues. That, uh, oh, I need to finish that healing from yesterday or last week or a year ago or childhood or inherited patterns even from ancestors. That almost seems like the symptoms are somewhat of a distraction from maybe what the actual, you know, the, the, the main issue that you might be having is has, you know, it's not directly related to the symptom and seems like sort of modern science and modern medicine is always focused on just like trying to really hyper focus on whatever like the noticeable phone ringing sy symptom is, but oftentimes the the real priority is something deeper um, that might not even be necessarily related to the symptom or not directly related. Like you were talking about with headaches, you know, people having all this pain up here, but it might actually be a symptom uh, that's coming from something in your kidneys that your body's like detoxing. Um, so the symptom is just sort of like this like alarm but that's not necessarily what we should be focusing on, eh? Yeah, it's, uh, the question becomes, what's the underlying cause? What's the meaning of this alarm? Mm. And, and the, the, the function of most drugs is to clip the wire on the alarm, <laughs> to shut off. Right. You know, it's like you have your car and there's a, a gauge. Oh, there's a, a light on. What, there's a problem. There's a light with yeah. the oil or something, the oil lights on. Oh, we can fix that. We have a drug for that. It'll just, you know, it's like black electrical off. tape that you put right over that, that annoying <laughs> light that's irritating yeah. you. So we, we treat the symptom and we so often fail to understand the deeper meaning. If it, it's really, so again, it, the meaning is, is where the ultimate healing emanates from, you know, what, what, what is the meaning to the spirit of that injury? Is it, you know, is it something that we need to heal? Yeah, we need to heal ourselves. So the, the phone ringing is, you know, it's, it's important to, to heal the, the real time damages and exposures and traumas, toxic exposures, stresses, psycho-emotional stresses. We have to deal with those things in real time. We can't yeah. like say, say, well, the real problem is, you know, this deep thing, but, but, if life is too is throwing too much at us, we, we can't get there. So so it's it's really a balancing act, balancing the two, where we learn mm -hmm. how to how to reduce our stress by making the the right positive choices that are going to rebuild our well being, mm -hmm. and and avoid continuing to you know buy things on credit cards and and put tape over the the symptom lights. <laughs> Uh, and, and cut the phone cord because, you know, somebody's trying to tell us our house is on fire. 
<laughs> yeah, turn that bone <laughs> off. It's <laughs> a great and, analogy. And, and our body will naturally then bring up those deeper, older issues and start working on them. And it may bring up old symptoms along with it. In homeopathy, they call us retracing. And it's a mm. sign of healing. Oh, this symptom I haven't had in 20 years just came back. Well, did you do anything different that, that in, in that time frame? Yeah, I just started exercising. Okay, so you're reactivating some functions you haven't been using, and now it's calling on, it's, it's prioritizing that, that particular healing. Oh, I feel my shoulder. Yeah, I had an old injury there. I'm exercising, and it's bringing my awareness back to that. Doesn't mean to take, uh, you know, a steroid to reduce the inflammation, because that suppresses the immune system, which is our healing system. Right. 